It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the Seattle Seahawks and the Philadelphia Eagles coming up next. So the skies are clear, the sun is out, but don't be deceived. There's a big time nip in the air on this crisp autumn day at Lincoln Financial Field. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Seattle Seahawks and the Philadelphia Eagles. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. This will be fielded inside the five. And look at this. Right away, a loose football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he'll score. Touchdown, Eagles. Well, how's that for an early storyline? Some people are asking the ushers where their seat is. And boom, we've got a score on the board, a fumble return on the opening kickoff. And this is where all the tailgating groups are looking at each other saying, maybe we need to get to the stadium just a little bit earlier next time. But man, those bratwurst, they're good, Charles. They're good. <laughs> on for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead it 7-0. So not only the cough-up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. As Seattle's offense comes onto the field, we'll see a 10-year veteran under center. Guy who broke into the league as a starter back in 2013, Geno Smith. I still remember back in 2013 when he was drafted out of West Virginia. He was coming off of back-to-back 4,000-yard seasons for the Mountaineers. Hadn't seen as much game time in recent years, but at one point, a capable starter in the NFL. They'll run here with a rookie second round pick, Kenneth Walker. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Throwing now is Geno. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he'll bring it back to about the five-yard line. This defense, Charles, very opportunistic here early. A second fumble recovery in this first quarter of play. Yeah, you mentioned the right word, opportunistic and aggressive, because once they got the first fumble recovery, they were eager to get a second one, and sometimes they just come in bunches. On the flip side, they've got to figure out how to hold the ball because the play calls seem to be okay. They're just not executing. Defense gets him the ball via the turnover. Now can this offense cash in? First and goal. It'll be Hurts on the option. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Jalen Hurts keeping it himself from five yards out. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. 
Well, that's how you take advantage of an early turnover. A sudden change situation, meaning ball's turned over. How's both sides going to handle it? One side handled it way better. They went right out on the field and put the ball in the end zone. One play, that just added insert to injury. Yeah, that just tells you on the defensive side, they didn't come out ready to go, still reeling from the fact that the ball got turned over. Elliott good with a PAT, and that'll make the score 14 to 0. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in the, as they come up on first down. Smith. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. So the incompletion, and now it's second and ten, again from the 25-yard line. On second down, it's Walker. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. But force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going into quarterback in an expected passing situation. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Now Gino. And that will be incomplete. because they'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. Take it in at the 22. A field position changer there. 49 yards on the punt. Couple that with a loss on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Hurt sets up to throw it. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. From the gun, it's Hurts. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Ooh, I like it. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Three touchdowns. Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now 21 to nothing. The drive there only spanning three plays, and it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. So how about this for a start? 21 nothing here in the first as they kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. 
And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. If they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. On second and seven, Smith. And this is going to be incomplete. Had no command that time, man. They're putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, Bob? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. They head to the line, facing a third and seven, following the incompletion on second down. To throw is Smith. He's got him. This well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. What a play that turns out to be 36 yards. And this offense needed something to try and seize the momentum a little bit. And that might have been exactly what they needed. Now they have a chance to go downfield and score and cut into the lead. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Walker now on first and 10. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he's trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Well, it's out. Smith lost it. Does the big boy have the juice? The 30, 10, and he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an eagle touchdown. Charles, they are putting on a show right now. I mean, with that fumble return for the touchdown, you think about the size of this advantage. Heck, it's a four-score game right now, and we're still in the first half. And that has to be the highlight, Brandon, with how infrequently we see fumbles return to the house. But if you are inclined to pick this as the game's signature play so far, you do have no shortage of alternatives to select from. This has been nothing short of a clinic. And as noted, we still have a half a bar to play. Elliott Good with a PAT. And a route is on here in this first half. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So this not what we expected. 28-0 here in the first as another kickoff is away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now Gino on first down. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Gino out of throw. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the gun, here's Smith. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an Eagle touchdown. Well, Charles, I mean, things just seem to be getting worse and worse for one sideline. And flip it over after that fumble return for a touchdown. Better and better on the opposite end. What an impressive first half performance. And partner, I know the saying in the NFL goes that no lead is safe. But I will say that this one seems pretty secure. And if we continue to see plays like that, I'm going to switch back and say this lead is safe. Elliott good on the 
extra point, and that makes this 35 to nothing now. So plenty of fireworks here early. 35 to nothing now as the kick is away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. They've got to be absolutely reeling right now. Couldn't have expected to be down this big this early. But that's the spot they're in as they come up to try again here. Here's Walker to start the drive. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Here's Smith. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an Eagle touchdown. They give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice to such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. Elliott now to add the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. And in just about every game we see, partner, what do we do when we look at the stat sheet? We go right to the turnover differential. Without a doubt, because when we see that, that pretty much tells the tale of the game. And I know there's still plenty of time to go, but you've got to take care of the football in order to win it. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. They'll toss this out right to Walker. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. And in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing on third down, Smith. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Here's Michael Dixon now to punt. set up with a very short field. First and 10 inside the 20. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a second and 10. Another run here with Sanders. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. For the heavy set out there, three tight ends in the formation for third and three. They'll try to run for it with Sanders. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. 
Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. Sanders diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. And Charles, he's able to dive in there in a short yardage situation. Just find a place to get to the end zone. Didn't matter where it was, but once he did, used his nose for the end zone and dove in. Elliott on for the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. So that drive, four plays. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge of the ball. And I always look, at, look to the quarterback. But sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up. Let's... Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. able to retain possession. That was big for them. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Now here's Michael Dixon. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fielded just inside the 30. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. And out now come the Eagles. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Throwing his hurts. He's got a man complete. And they'll work this down inside the 30. But they have to be a genius to watch this game and figure out they've had plenty of success moving the football here in the first half. We've seen exhibits A, B, C, and right on down the line, out of Yeah, we just saw exhibit Z right there to the 27-yard line. You've got to be impressed by the defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, they turn to Sanders. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. They'll go again with Sanders. 41 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. It'll be Hurts on the option. And he will take this one in for an eagle touchdown. Jalen Hurts 
with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Eagles are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Well, Charles, he's already proven that he's not afraid to tuck that football down on the option, and he's into the end zone for the second time in the game. And that's exactly what you need from your quarterback, the ability to run the ball fearlessly. And, in fact, many quarterbacks will tell you running the football doesn't scare them. Standing in the pocket and taking blindside hits, that's what terrifies them. Elliott good with a PAT, and the route is on here in this first half. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs. Because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Now a first down throw. It's Smith. His throw incomplete. I'll tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. And the Eagles have recovered.